a real problem right now, and the real problem is that our hospitals are being inundated by people with COVID. And the problem is, is that people wouldn't get vaccinated. And the people that are going in to the hospitals with COVID, upwards of 90% of them aren't vaccinated. Now you ask yourself, like, why would somebody do this? I, I don't know, but the anti-vaxxers are sort of syn synonymous with uh, people that are anti-news. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, anti-news? Yes, there's people that are anti-news. I've dealt with somebody like that in the last year that was just like, I can't watch the news. It's all about them not wanting be, to be told something. Like they want to think something because it's easier for them to think that. It's nonsense, yes, but it exists. And there's also the people that want to listen to conspiracy stuff. They want to believe this so bad. So they listen to it. And it's like George Orwell's 1984. You hear it over and over and over again. You start to believe it. So now we have a real problem. We have these anti-vaxxers that don't want to be vaccinated. We have the De Delta variant just running rampant. And then we have a, a, another variant, the Lambda, that's coming up, and there's going to be other ones. If the whole world can't get vaccinated, we're never going to beat this thing. And there's still this, this garbage out there. There's, there's garbage out there. And let me stress this point because this is important. You can be able to do math, okay? You can be able to do math. That, that doesn't necessarily make you smart in all realms. And that's what we have out there. We have people that are inherently intelligent, but they want to believe something so bad that they don't care. They don't care. I'm not going to listen to the news. So somebody that listen, listen, won't listen to the news or just listens to opinionated stuff, they're going to be sort of dumb. And you can't tell them... You can't explain shit to them because they want to believe this crap so bad. They want to believe it so bad. They want to think that they're right. People can't admit when they're wrong. And with this, if you can't admit that you're wrong, that vaccines are safe, you're going to hurt someone else. If you get COVID, you spread it to someone else. If you get the vaccine, and you get COVID, you have a much lower viral load, you don't have a tendency to spread it. This is nonsense. I'm not, I'm not saying if you get COVID and you have the vaccine, if you show up positive, you should stay away from people. But you're not spreading it the way the people that are unvaccinated spread it. If you're asymptomatic, you're not spreading it as much as the person that has it why somebody would choose not to get vaccinated, I'm not sure, but we have a real problem here and it's screwing everything up. You should consider, if you haven't been vaccinated, you should consider being vaccinated, not just for yourself, but for the people around you. If you get it, you're gonna spread it to someone. That's just scientific fact. And that's another problem. We have a whole, like, anti-science thing that's been spread for political reasons. This anti-vax thing has been spread for political reasons. Science is about numbers. It's about facts. If you get COVID, you're going to spread it to somebody and they're going to spread it to somebody and they're going and that's what just keeps happening. I urge you. I urge you. If you have reservations about it, if you haven't been vaccinated, please go talk to your doctor and let them explain it to you. Don't be watching Fox, like some opinionated show on Fox, and, and think, Tucker Carlson came out recently, and was Sean Hannity was pushing, yeah, everybody should be vaccinated. We have Trump at a rally yesterday being booed because he's saying everybody should go get their vaccine. They spread this stuff for political reasons, and now, of course, they're recanting. I'm sorry to tell you the facts, and I know it hurts, but if you haven't been vaccinated, 
please reconsider. Go talk to your doctor. Get vaccinated. The life you may save may be your own, but you might be saving someone else's life. So reconsider this and know that vaccines are generally safe and the odds are good. You're not going to have any problems, but go talk to your doctor and see what they say. We have a real problem. Remember this. If the hospitals are full of people that are unvaccinated and have COVID, somebody gets in a car accident, they might not be able to be seen. So go, go talk to your doctor.